All right, so good morning. Good morning, Firebird TV. My name is Alec Blanco, and I'm here joined by Coach Delgado of the Doral Academy football team. And welcome to the Sideline Story, a new podcast here for FBTV where we dive into the, the, the view from the sideline, but not really the bench, but more of the, the mind of the game where we talk to coaches. We've been coaches on here and talk about, you know, everything from past seasons, uh, new seasons now starting this Friday for the football team and just go over and sort of pick the coach's brain while he picks mine and, you know, have a good conversation about the love of sports. So, um, yeah, this is our first episode, and I'm glad that we got Coach here to, for the first episode, and, yeah, let's get right into it. So, Coach, I'm just going to go ahead and ask you for a basic introduction, mm -hmm. you know, when you started coaching in general and when here at the Rock. All right, so, well, first of all, thanks for, thanks for having me. Of course. It's great to be on this. I'm glad you guys are doing this. Um, I started coaching, uh, I mean, I started on varsity as an offensive coordinator in 1995. And then, uh, I came here to Doral in the, uh, COVID year. Oh, really? In 2020. Yeah. That was quite an experience <laughs> to come wow. over for the first time. So it was rough. It was rough from every, every way possible. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was a good learning experience. I think everybody. Uh, took something out of that, and we were able to kind of get things started. Um, but really, the first like full year with everybody here uh, was the next year, 21. You know, mm -hmm. in my mind, like 20 was more like just trying to survive through that season. <laughs> yeah. You know? uh, and then 21 really was a better year for us. Like your first official year was that? Yeah, yeah, it was more, more, more normal. The, everybody more normal. with the mask. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that was that was my freshman year. So we yeah. kind of started at the same time. Yeah. But man, just yeah, that was rough. <laughs> How would it be like you? Because 2020 was the Zoom, and you guys still practiced? Yeah, so everybody was on Zoom, and then in the afternoon, uh, guys would come in, and we would practice uh, starting at four. Mm -hmm. So people would get here, and then, you know, you had the mask thing, and I mean, couldn't go in the locker room, right? not everybody at the same time. So it was just, everything was complicated. Yeah. And getting to know new people and a new school, and uh, it was just a nightmare. So, so then the year after, how was that year? Oh, no, it was much better, much better, more normal, more yeah. what you're used to. But at the same time, I had, I, had, I think all of us as coaches that started that year, uh, we got a chance to get a feel for the school mm -hmm. and for the guys, yeah, uh, it was a young team. We had to kind of start over, and and then we returned a lot of people in twenty one, so we had a good year. Really? Do Do you remember any pivotal moments from that year? That from could, which one? Twenty one? Twenty twenty? Yeah, twenty one. Uh, or twenty? Both. <laughs> I mean, well, twenty was rough. Yeah, we we because you kind of had to throw a schedule together uh, right before the season, and it was weird because public schools didn't start till a lot later. Mm -hmm. Private schools started earlier. So we were kind of caught in between. So really the only people available, there were a lot of like really, really good teams. Yeah. Like we ended up playing two teams that won the state championship. <laughs> um, out of like our, I don't know how many games, I think we played six. Because wow. two of them got canceled because of COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, the other team got it or, or, we didn't necessarily have a breakout, but there was enough guys that got affected by it that we couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So we ended up only playing like six games. So it was tough. But the last game, uh, everybody went to the playoffs that year. And then the last game we played Homestead, we played pretty, pretty, pretty tough. Yeah. So it was probably our best game of the year. And uh, we lost a close game. So it was like feeling good at the end mm -hmm. of that yeah. all difficult experience. It's like after you go through all that like weird stuff and yeah. not even what anybody's used to. And, you know, you still take like a... A positive out of it. Yes, so. yes. We, t we we left with some positive feelings about it. Mm -hmm. And then we had spring practice in May, and it was better because it was things were starting to calm down. Mm -hmm. And we had a really good spring. And then going into 21, we had, you know, we had more guys added to the team, and we had a lot of guys back. There was a lot more familiarity. So we had a really good season. We went like 8-1 and one in the regular season. Oh, wow. So it was good. Uh, felt good about it, and then we lost a close game to to Miramar in the playoffs. Mm. Uh, but we felt good. It was, and there was still a lot of guys coming back for twenty two. Yeah, 
So that young team still. That yeah. Yeah. Wow. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Just training up the, the young guys to yeah. take over. Yeah. yeah. When you have a lot of guys back, it makes everything smoother. Yeah. So like now focus on this year. You know, mm-hmm. last year you guys had a a pretty weird year. You yeah. Know? It I was, think that's a good way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember working up here, mm-hmm. by all the games, all the boards, and, you know, um, it's, it's it was quite, it was pretty weird. Yeah, know? it wasn't very good. You don't have to be <laughs> shy about it. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't our best work. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say that. Um, but no, we weren't happy about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, you know, you go back 2021, 20, 22, a lot of guys came back mm-hmm. those years and had a lot of experience. And then all those guys graduated. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like you have to start over. Yep. And we had some guys coming back, but we had a lot of new people, a lot of young people last year. And um, and we just didn't play well either. Mm-hmm. And then we had some rough games early. And we got better as the year went on. Yeah. Um, like in the first the first game, the preseason game, we played Palmetto and, and they just, you know, they took it to us. We didn't compete very well at all. Yeah. And they they just beat us up pretty good. It was like thirty five to three, I think. Wow! But then, fast forward to the end. Um, then we played them in the playoff game, and it was seven seven with less than two minutes left. Wow! So, you know, they returned the kickoff for a touchdown, and that's how they won. Mm-hmm. So, there was a lot of progress made. Yeah, it's um, that building up from like ground zero. Yeah, and you know, yeah. it's like ironing out all that stuff and mm-hmm. building up the younger guys to be the future yes. big like old guys and that come back and it's a that's why like I'm excited for this year especially now yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> me too you know cuz it's 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 like uh to me if we if we if we look at we look at almost like uh 23 is like a little bit more like the covid year yeah. it's kind of starting anew mm-hmm. and this one's a little more like 21 yeah it's like okay we got a lot of guys but we're also still young in a lot mm-hmm. of places. Um, and I feel like we're going to have a good season. Uh, yeah. How good, it depends on how quickly guys that are new assimilate and mm-hmm. improve. So I think that how we start now uh, will be a lot different. We'll be a lot different team when we get to November. Yeah. And then that's really when it matters the most. Um, but I, But I'm excited about it. It's a good yeah. team. Uh, I remember um, the seeing you guys practice. Like, when do you guys start practice for the off season? Voice super. Like, uh, like, well, I mean, it depends on what stage of the off season, right? Yeah. Because the guys that return, they start in the weight room from January through May. Wow. And then, well, I guess just just at the end of April, mm-hmm. and then we have spring practice. Yeah. From the end of April through May, till you play a game or whatever, mm-hmm. and. Um, you know, we had a good spring game, and then there's like a brief pause there for like a week or two till school ends, mm-hmm. and then we start again now the first day of summer. Yeah, uh, I got it. yeah. So then we were out here in the mornings from seven to nine. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's you know it's really not that long a summer for the football guys because mm-hmm. uh, they they go and they work out in the morning. It's seven weeks before we start, so we started July 29th. Yeah, so. They got to do all their off-season work there, you know, incorporate new people, get the old guys yeah. back into it. And then now we start the 29th, and then we we just uh, we just played our preseason game, and uh, and that was at the end of the third week of practice. And how do you feel about that preseason game, the little glimpse into this uh, it season? Was, it was good. I mean, it was good. It was, I mean, we, we played Cypress Bay. Cypress Bay has been a, a team that has been pretty solid. Mm-hmm. Um They've made the playoffs the last eight years. Yep. So it's it's similar mm-hmm. to us in a lot of ways. Um, I thought I thought we played really well on offense. Yeah. Um, like last year, last year we didn't run the ball very well, and we wanted to make sure we improved that and got it back to where it needed to be because we were primarily a running team in those other years. Yeah, with the Wilder. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like we had Wilder the year before, LaMonica was part of that. So we had we had four really good backs, Ryan Gonzalez, yeah. Jason Demetrius. Those guys were really good. Mm-hmm. And we had a good line. So um, that was our strength. And then last year, we just couldn't run the ball very well at all. 
different things. And we had, we had a lot of like turnover on the line. A lot of guys get hurt. Things happen. We had some injuries in the backfield. So oh. it was like up and down the whole season. Yeah. Um, but we did have like a good, good group of, um, of like skill guys, like receivers, running backs. Quarterback was a sophomore. So those guys really got a lot better as the season went yeah, on. They got all that experience. Right. That makes a big difference. Yeah. And then now, now coming into this year, a lot of those guys, they're very familiar with everything, and they've improved a lot, and they had a really good showing the other night. Yeah. I think, uh, like, a, sorry to interrupt, but yeah. like, a, like a big part of that is like that, that confidence building. You know, yeah. you have the sophomore uh, quarterback. The guy has humongous shoes to fill and to yeah. lead, lead that team. And yeah. it's, I think it's pretty cool to see, you know, while I'm excited to see how he has this new confidence now, mm -hmm. you know, in the in this new season, he's a junior. Yeah. He's had a whole year experience, yeah. the bads and the good. So mm -hmm. I think that's pretty um pretty cool to see. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. He he really improved a lot as the season went on last year. And then you know, it, there's no substitute for experience, especially yeah. at that position. That position is tough. So he's he he really had a good game the other night, and and we expect him to have a good season. That's great. Um, another thing <clears throat> that I wanted to ask you is like you yourself as a coach, like what's your mindset like as as you organize your team and set them up for success? Um, well, I think the biggest thing is um, making sure that we 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 learn our systems both on offense and defense uh, really well because mm -hmm. it's it's hard it's hard to incorporate new people because they got to learn a lot of things that are new to them. Maybe they didn't do that where they were before. Um, so you got to get all those guys caught up. Yeah. And they have to do things the way you want to you want to do it. And um, that takes that takes a that takes time. <laughs> yeah. And that's not easy. Especially if you want to be successful at the level we want to be. Mm -hmm. um, football is a lot of chemistry and a lot of there's a lot more um, um, of a mental side of it than probably most people um, think. Yeah. So it takes a little bit to learn what you have to do on, on either offense or defense. Same thing. Uh, and really where we have more new people than anything is on defense. So we got to really replace a lot of guys and incorporate a lot of new people. So it takes them a little bit of time to feel comfortable. And as the season goes on, they get better with that. Yeah, and once they they they're more confident, then they play better. Of course, they play faster, and and uh, I think for me and for all the other coaches, it's just trying to get them so that the mental side. There's like two parts of it. We were just talking about this the other day. It's, it's the mental part of knowing your assignment, and then there's the physical part of actually, you know, working on your techniques. Right. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you're too worried about the mental part, then the physical side suffers. Exactly. So. Right now we're not, we're not at a point where both are together mm -hmm. uh, on some, you know, some parts of the team, but it'll get there. Like we're we're, we're trying to simplify, and those are things that you gotta understand and kind of feel your team. Mm -hmm. Like where are we at? Are we ready to keep moving forward, or do we have to slow it down and kind of get everybody caught, got, get get them caught up? Yeah, and then. Um about like that that mental side, you know, a lot of as you said, a lot of people have no idea that that's even in like a football, you yeah. know, like in in the game. And like, could you talk more about like that? Because I think it's also a lack of like confidence mm -hmm. in the the player. Because you know, you see like a bunch of examples, like oh, I don't know if I can like make that catch, or I don't know if I can yeah. if I can guard the the back, you know, yeah. and just. It gets and they they eat themselves up about it. Sure, you know they they could probably be great players. Yeah, it's just that's like that aspect about it. Well, the mental mental side of it is big. Um, you got to have some level of confidence, mm -hmm. and then it's up to us to kind of build that up even more, and make them understand that they're they're not going to do things on their own. Like this isn't an individual sport, right? Mm -hmm. You're not out there by yourself. Yeah, so you have help. You just have to understand where that help is. And then for you to do your job, you got to feel really comfortable about what it is you, you're trying to do. And like I said before, if, if, you, if you get the assignment part of it right, then the physical will follow. Of course. You know? And, 
that's that's part of the the coach i mean that's part of coaching i think that's true probably for every sport yeah is just getting them to feel confident about what they have to do and so that they execute at a high level when the time comes so it's up to us to kind of build that up mm -hmm. um but it's a big part of his mental yeah because if you're gonna you know one thing is when you're playing a team and and maybe you're the favorite um you know some some guys walk out there like well i know i'm gonna win and it's yeah it's, Stick the good a, mental and the yeah, bad mental. It, it, it really takes a lot of discipline to have that same kind of confidence when you're playing somebody you know you're an underdog to. Of course. And you got to have like that toughness to it. Mm -hmm. And that that comes with confidence. Of course. And you got to have faith in the other guys around you. So that's that's part of the process too. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you a quick question, like sort of random, but Polly, what has been your like – that at one experience that you remember in your all your years of coaching that mm -hmm. you're like man like that's this is like why i love doing this this is like th that's what you remind yourself with yeah um well I, I mean i've always been at places where maybe maybe you weren't the, necessarily the favorite mm -hmm. so it, like i enjoy being the underdog of course like i like that like i i just enjoy it and then um i like it when when guys overcome difficult things, um, like one of the one of the fun ones was one year when I was when I was in another place, um, like we were playing Northwestern, mm -hmm. and they were a pretty big favorite, and um, and we got down twenty eight seven at the start of the third quarter. Wow! And we we were a good team. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, so were they, but. You know, there's a lot of times where, like I said, like the mental side of it, like where you have the confidence and the toughness. Yeah. Uh, where you don't give in no matter what. And backs against the wall. A lot yeah. of people, a lot of people don't have that. Uh -huh. And then uh, when you when you see that come out in your guys that they're that they have that kind of toughness, um, that's what makes it fun for yeah. at least for me. <laughs> so facing that spot there, there's. A tendency for a lot of guys when things are not going their way to point fingers to blame mm -hmm. to complain to make excuses for whatever uh and we didn't do that yeah. and instead it was the opposite and there was a lot of guys that kind of were mad and um but in a good way they use it and they used it and they kind of um were trying to inspire the others around them mm -hmm. to just keep fighting through it and uh and then th they things turned quickly and then we scored quick got started to play well on defense got another quick score and then we went down to what we thought was going to tie and then we got stopped at the at the one. Oh. <laughs> so you think oh this is bad and there was another one of those where you think oh and they didn't give in they got the ball back they scored then we had a mistake on the extra point so we're still down <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah it was it was a wild game but it, there's a lot of you know, it's, it's, a, it's a long story, but we ended up winning wow. um, on a field goal late through a lot of things and then actually got an interception at the end to kind of seal it. So the cherry on top. You know, the, you the, know. The, the, well, yeah, there's a lot. There's, it's a long story. <laughs> that would be a, that's a fun one to talk about. Yeah. Just like, you know, that I think that's super cool, man. Like just yeah. having like to see that, like especially when it's like my experience with it is like. You know, watch like my favorite like team, like let's say like the Heat. You yeah. know, uh, I'm I'm really not. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not really a football guy. Right. You know, my brother played football in high school, mm -hmm. and he's been like he's been mainly been the one to like show me the ropes and mm -hmm. like understand the game. And you know, my mom and family love the Dolphins, and right. so like I'm now like learning more of like the individual aspects of the game and more about it. And I mm -hmm. just this is like super cool to see like. You know, your back is against the wall. You know, you push through. Well, I I think that I think that it's true in every sport. Yeah, like you know, basketball, ha that kind of stuff happens. Happens in every sport. Yeah, yeah. You of know, course. like any team sport. Mm -hmm. You know, um, those kind of those kind of um, situations where your team just doesn't back down, just doesn't give in, mm -hmm. makes all the plays that they need to make to get back into it, and then everything changes. Yeah, and then all of a sudden now you're just on a roll the confidence is sky high yeah i mean that that's the fun part of sports right of course um so it doesn't matter really what sport it is of course like, i think you can see that and give examples of that in every sport yeah 
you know, which is, that's, that's the fun thing about it. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so I got to like, like when you see all those movie scenes of like, I don't know, um, what's your favorite football movie? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. There's like pieces of all the different ones. I, I, it's hard to say, oh, that's the one that's like the most realistic. Um, I don't know. I like remember the Titans. I like Rudy. Mm-hmm. Um, well, then if I you could, know. since you like all the pieces, if you can make your perfect football movie of uh, combining all the other ones, what would you do? Uh, it's probably like, um, I, I mean, I think it's cool to watch the process mm-hmm. of getting to the games and then the difficulty of the games and the things that are overcome. It's kind of like the same thing I was just telling you. Yeah. Like, I, I, I feel like those are the things that are funnest to me mm-hmm. is seeing how you get them to get to that point, you know, where they can. The grind. Where they can reach those kinds of levels mm-hmm. that maybe people don't expect you to. You know, I think that's fun. I think it's, that's, it's like um, um, probably a good movie uh, that depicted that kind of of situation. Um, Miracle. Miracle. It was about the U.S. hockey team. Oh, really? They, they beat the Soviet Union in 1980 at the Winter Olympics. The Soviets were like made up of like all these pros. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the U.S. hockey team was a bunch of college kids. Yeah. And they weren't supposed to beat them. And then they did. So it was... You know, and they won the that actually when they beat them was I think the semifinal. It was to get to the gold medal game, mm-hmm. and then they won the gold. But wow, that was like you know one of the biggest upsets. So I, I, I you know that that kind of stuff like appeals to me. That's cool. And it sticks with you too. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And then now you know you you just told me a story about how you sort of did the same thing. You know, you go yeah. you go out there, you you persevere. You know, you come through. Mm-hmm. Um. And then just to sort of, you know, close this all up, you know, focusing on um, Friday's game, mm-hmm. you know, um, just to talk about like that matchup and what you expect out of your guys and out of yeah. yourself as well. Well, uh, Gulliver, Gulliver will have some, some good skill players. Mm-hmm. Um, but really, at this time of the year, I'm not so worried. And I, and I tell the same thing to the, to the players. I'm not so worried about who we play. Mm-hmm. It's more about what we do. Yep. Um, it's more about how we take care of our business and how we we execute. Um, the opponent doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about going, you know, going through our process, getting the play, coming up to the line, and running things smoothly yeah. on both sides. It's lining up right. It's executing what's called, and the results will take care of themselves. Yeah. Um, so I'm 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 more interested in, in watching us just take another step forward on both sides. I liked what I saw offensively. There's things that we can definitely do better. We yeah. turned it over a couple of times. Really wasn't forced by the other team. It's more our own our own fault. So you don't you, you want to stay away from those things. Want to stay away from penalties that can be prevented. Yep. Um, things like that. And then defensively, you want to line up better. You want to execute your assignments better. Um, and then really be better about our technique. And then everything else will come into place that'll that'll take care of itself if you yeah. do those things right you're probably going to have good results and of course that's that's more of what i want to see perfect well coach i thank you for your time today don't forget to attend the football game friday at seven 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 p.m don't forget buy your tickets go support coach now that you see exactly how he's <laughs> running the show you, you know you feel a little special now watching the game and um i appreciate it for your time coach pick your thank brain you. hopefully we could do this again sometime absolutely of course. thank you Thank you guys for watching and make sure to tune in the next episode. Goodbye.